Hello, so we are back Wednesday and we have something to talk and fix on the same time. So what do we have here? We have an iPhone 7 Plus and the job is not turning on, okay? That's the problem with this one. I did open, no I didn't open, so actually my my, my, my J Jason, my colleague, the other shop, he opened and he said he tried another battery and he's still not charging and he's still not coming on, sorry let me just take the screen out it's nothing, nothing special, it's just uh, uh, give me one second, give me one second Yeah, yeah. He called and I asked him about the phone. Uh, the, the phone is not coming on. The board is shorted. Yeah, supply we have around two amps. Yeah, ground plus and it's short. But that's not. The, I seen yesterday the new iPhone line. I was impressed. Let me say this: I was impressed with the new iPhones. Actually, Apple never put so much technology on a phone. Yeah, from one generation to the the, the next generation. I was impressed. I, I will not buy though. You know, I said when I bought uh, my iPhone 8, I said, you know what? Till the moment they will not fit a fingerprint thingy, I will not buy the iPhone. I can't do it because it's on my desk, and uh, if you have the face ID, you always have to leave the phone to to unlock it, and I can't do it. So I stop with the iPhone 8, which is still working great after like, how long? Three years? It's still fine, it's like new. If I take the screen protector in the case, you'll not find a scratch on this phone. Okay, let's, 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 uh, let's take the board out. I was impressed with so much technology on an on iPhone. Just leaving on one side the processor and the thing is, you know, just ignoring these uh, upgrades, which are always the same, you know, in each iPhone. Oh, uh, look, this is a brand new iPhone, uh, new design. They are all the same. Over the years, they replaced the processor and nothing, nothing, nothing special, you know. But this year, I don't know if they are on, on every iPhone, but I know on the Max they said, you know, the camera, they have uh, optical stabilization on the sensor, not on the lens. You know, you'll find, where you'll find this, I think on the Sony camera, obviously the, 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 the good cameras, actually the lens is stable, it's on one place and the sensor is moving, that's impressive, yeah? Obviously, they came with 5G this year, and uh, another impressing thing, if, if I don't know, if you love the, the video and photo, RAW, so you can shoot in RAW, yeah, R-I-W, yeah, so actually the f you can take the files out, without being uh, processed yeah by the by the phone so you can get actually the actually the picture from the sensor and you can work with that and only on the professional camera you will find this 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 function you know this is it it's, was like a shock you know i can't believe the 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 it's it's i'm really sorry but no one did something like that on on, on a phone 
I still don't understand why they don't uh, fit a fingerprint. You can see on different phones, you have fingerprint on the power button, you have, uh, I seen yesterday on a Huawei phone, he has a camera behind of the screen for the finger fingerprint. So you can unlock the, the phone with the fingerprint. Pretty impressive. But not iPhone. iPhone, nah, nah, nah. I'll not buy the iPhone, but... Nice, nice features on the new iPhone. Hmm. And, you know, every technology and they change the glass so they uh, be more resistant like the, on the cracks and things. Every phone has an OLED screen. I know, Samsung has four ears, but now the phones is not like the iPhone. Uh, iPhone, crack screen. Quickly, you know, cheap job. No, it's nothing cheap. So from this point, from this point, the people will stop uh, replacing, uh, prob probably will stop replacing iPhone screens. Because obviously, our OLED screen is expensive. The technology, you know, come with a price. And also HDR, you can uh, you can film on HDR. I watch you know every event, Apple event, but this one they put a lot, probably because it's two twenty iPhone. Probably everyone from this channel love technology. Okay, let's see this one. What what can be shorter than this iPhone? I don't have a screwdriver or this screw. Okay, the screws are you screw this out. The antenna is out, charging port. Camera, I think we're ready. Let's see. Uh, it's one more here, yeah. And one more here. Okay, the problem here, we have a short. I can't see water damage here, but we can have a look closer. No, it's not water damage. Uh, let's take the seal out. The, the shield, yeah. And see. So what do we check and where do we check?
First, let's open the board view because it'll be more easy to understand with board view. Uh, the phone board software, sorry, the yeah, which is board view. Phone board software. Which is a free software, I like it. iPhone 7 Plus. I don't know which one it is. So we have like that, we have to follow the plus, yeah? So our plus is shorted. Uh, that's the board, yeah? Yeah, that's the board. We have the battery connected. This is plus, the other one is minus, yeah? So that's plus. And it's going somewhere on the other side of the board. Let's see where it's going, because it's going on the first MOSFET and the charging uh, chip. Which are this, yeah? That's a MOSFET, it's a square thing, yeah? On our board. On our board. On our board, that's the MOSFET, this one. Okay? And that's the ch charging circuit. So, we, we have to know the output of this MOSFET here. So you have, you see how many pins you have on the output. So the, from here you have your main VCC power rail, okay? We have to check this for short. So where we can check exactly. Where we can check, let's see. On the next cap here. You see this cap? It's next to the it's next to the MOSFET, on our case and on the board here, okay? So let's come with the power supply, we have 5, five uh, we have uh, 4.5, yeah. ground, we have a current limit there, and here, and we have like 1.1 volts, and in short, it's taking 2.2 amps because that's the limit, I can lower the the amps to be like 2 amps. Yeah, you can see. So, it is a short somewhere. The main power is shorted. Okay. Let's bring some uh, alcohol or petrol, whatever you want. And let's try to find whatever is short here. Now, important is to pay attention on what's going on when I come with the power here. You can see anything on the board? Huh? Because I can't see anything. Okay, let's raise the amps, around 3 amps. I can't see anything. That's the easy way to find a short uh, on the board with petrol or alcohol. Alcohol is working on the same way. We just have to see what where it's getting ev evaporated quickly. That's all what we have to see. And I can't see anything here. I mean, yeah, it's shorted, but I can't see anything else. Okay. 
Yes, can be on the other side of the board. Or here. Somewhere around the, the power management chip. Let me take the, this shield out. can be here let's see and I will come with the power on the same place same spot And I still I can't see anything here getting hot. Hmm. Uh. Okay, so this will be tricky. Let's try one more time. First, we need just an idea. The side. Uh, on which side of the board is getting uh, hot because applying current to a short that's what will happen that's not ground okay I'm just curious what can be shorted here. More current, 3.5 amps. <clears throat> Is something here here well, I think on the other side of the board that's what I think possible to be wrong Where is my cup on tape? Okay, let's do it without. Quickly. Okay, so we took out the shield. Now let's check on the schematic where the voltage is coming here. And you can see it's coming exactly on those capacitors from here. 
so compare with the board with the board view we can check our main VCC power rail here we have a coil you can see the coil on the on the screen this one and we have the, those capacitors all are connected all are connected to main VCC power rail probably one is gone because it's exactly on what side we are looking for here yeah? so let's see petrol and we have around 3.5 amps yeah we can lower the amps this time let's lower the amp ground well I can't see anything wrong here What? That's bad. Let me clean the thermal paste and let's try one more time. Let's go up to 3.5 amps. The power management chip, yeah, can be that. Can be. Hi. Hey, give me one second. Give me one second.
crazy day, crazy day and I'm alone right now. So what we are doing with this one? We can fix it or not. So it's, this, it's taking 3.5 amps. Usually it's just a shorted capacitor, but it looks like not this time. So I can't believe I can feel here warm. But it's hard to say, you know, what is what is shorter than. Because the, pro the, the power management chip is not getting hot. What do you think about this one? So check the petrol around him, yeah? So around him. Because you can't see it's getting dry because the capacitor has a low resistance and has also some paint over, yeah, that's paint. Yeah, you can see the petrol around him moving. Hmm? So, what do you think about this? No, I don't want to risk and come with hot air here next to the what is here, our memory. Yeah. I don't want to do it. Let's see now. And it's not short anymore, you can see. Nothing. Now if I go on the battery connector. If I go on the battery connector. Here. Nothing. Here, obviously, here is ground is short. Here, nothing. It's not short anymore. So that was the issue. 
you see but this was very tricky because it was not getting hot like just a bit warm and that's all it was getting a bit warm with 3.5 amps yeah so if the capacitor has a low resistance is shorted with a low resistance it's hard to be found Let's test it, yeah? Just a quick test and that's all. So it's not like always, oh, it's a short capacitor, probably it will boil, it will be mad hot. No. It's not always. What do you need? Uh, the screen? And the battery, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's plug the charger. We have the Apple sign, but the battery is not taking power. Possible to have two faults. Yeah, so the phone is, ah, uh, no, sorry, the battery is 100%. If it's 100%, it will not charge. Well, it's still well, weird. This, this is a second fault. Probably this is the charging port. Is the second. Uh, is the second fault. Because she'll take some uh, some power. And this is taking nothing. Oh, sorry, it's a picture on the phone. I'm really sorry. Huh. Let me find a charging port. Give me one second. Okay, let's see. Let's see with different port. So this has a second fault. Even with a hundred percent charged battery, she'll still take some power. Yeah. Okay, the port is connected. No, it's not charging. Come on, man. It is can be. Oh, that's crazy. My iPhone cable is plugged on the Samsung plug. Ah, uh, check now. Yeah, check now. So now, yeah, 700 milliamps for a charge battery. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, I was tricked. So, that means the charging port is good. The original one. That's crazy. Oh, the battery is unplugged. Yeah, that's normal. Like 600 milliamps for a fully charged battery, that's normal. Okay, so the phone is fixed. I'll give back to Christian to put it all back together. Well, the idea is no always, no always you have. Uh, 
you have like you know burning capacitors and you can feel them when you touch them or even if, even with a infrared uh, a thermal camera it will still be hard to be found a fall like that yeah okay I'll stop now I will stop now thank you for watching like subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one if you don't need it don't buy the new iPhone well it looks impressive you know I was impressed from a technical point of view you know for whatever they put there see you on the next one bye